Meet Mr. Ian Mitchell and Caleb Hallett. Mr. Mitchell is a consultant paediatric spine surgeon at a hospital in Birmingham, UK. Caleb is his seven and a half year old patient. He was diagnosed with juvenile idiopathic scoliosis, JIS, a year ago, and his condition has been progressing rapidly. When Mr. Mitchell first met Caleb and his family, his foremost challenge was to find the right words to explain Caleb's condition and establish an open and trusting dialogue with him and his parents. To help him overcome this hurdle, Mr. Mitchell has been an enthusiastic adopter of the Josephine Explains Scoliosis campaign. Josephine the giraffe, known as Joe to her friends, is the official Medtronic spokes character for children with spinal deformities. She reveals their problems, helping reassure them they aren't alone and providing opportunities for identification and reflection. Her story is the story of the patients, social exclusion, effects on self-esteem and the need to accept who you are. Mr. Mitchell uses the Big Josephine model as an educational aid to explain the problems with Caleb's spine in a visual way, making a confusing subject much easier to grasp. Caleb was thrilled to go home with his own little stuffed Josephine toy and the booklet telling her story. He couldn't wait to show little Joe to his older brother and brag about how he'd be as tall as a giraffe when his treatment will be over. As Caleb's parents continuously failed to make him wear his brace, his curve has progressed rapidly and is now 68 degrees. Mr. Mitchell offers the Hallett family the option for surgical treatment. The goal of the surgery is to allow Caleb to grow as much as possible while preventing the further progression of his deformity and delay an inevitable final fusion surgery. Caleb wasn't diagnosed with any associated syndromes, however, he has always been rather a small child and there is some concern regarding his continued growth. For this reason, Mr. Mitchell feels like he needs a system that will allow him to stimulate Caleb's growth and he opts for a traditional growing rods or TGR technique with inline connectors. Mr. Mitchell hopes TGR will allow him to stimulate Caleb's growth beyond his normal growth rate and offer him a little additional thoracic height. As Caleb's overall health is good, he should tolerate the required repeated lengthening procedures. It's now the big surgery day for Caleb. He arrived at the hospital last night hugging his little Josephine, more excited about walking out taller in a few days than scared about the upcoming surgery. Mr. Mitchell is ready to operate, and he and his team are experienced with this gold standard surgical technique. However, in spinal surgery, and even more so in growing children, the procedure never goes without several challenges. When Caleb is ready for surgery, Mr. Mitchell performs two little skin incisions at the planned proximal and distal ends of the construct, T2 to L4. As Caleb will require multiple reoperations to lengthen his spine, Mr. Mitchell aims to make the cleanest skin cut possible and reduce scar tissue to enable easier reoperation in the future. He uses the Peak Plasma Blade radio frequency dissection system that reduces thermal injury and bleeding at the site of dissection, allowing for healthier scar tissue. He then exposes the proximal and distal levels T2 to T3 and L3 to L4 completely, prepares them for pedicle screw insertion and inserts his screws. The most delicate part of the surgery is the insertion of the connectors subcutaneously. As Caleb is small and rather skinny, Mr. Mitchell needs a low profile system hence his choice of inline connectors that reduce the amount of metal needed compared to side-by-side -side connectors. Once he is satisfied with his connectors placement and initial distraction, Mr. Mitchell locks the system in place. By the time Caleb wakes up, they've already scheduled his first lengthening surgery for six months out. When Caleb comes back for his first elongation procedure, he's in for a very short surgery. Thanks to the inline connector technique he chose, Mr. Mitchell can perform the lengthening surgeries in a minimally invasive way. He only needs to make a small skin incision in one end of the connector and he can use one of his favorite instruments called a hinged translator to distract the system. In order to ensure the safest surgery possible, Mr. Mitchell monitors Caleb's neurological function throughout the elongation procedure using the NIM Eclipse, an intraoperative neuromonitoring system. And with the intuitive surgeon-directed mode, he can perform the monitoring entirely on his own without requiring support from a neurophysiologist. Mr. Mitchell performs routine lengthening surgeries every six months until Caleb's spine has reached satisfactory growth. He then performs a final fusion procedure to obtain the last bit of correction needed and stabilize Caleb's spine for him to stand completely straight. 
With the help of TGR and Medtronic procedural offering, Mr. Mitchell was able to stimulate Caleb's spine to grow and align properly, allowing him to grow nearly as tall as his friend Josephine. Caleb's brother has stopped teasing him about his appearance and their tennis games are not so one-sided anymore, something their mother never thought possible. For a listing of indications, contraindications, precautions, warnings and potential adverse events, please refer to the instructions for use.